Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. And that's always been my goal, was to, to be an Olympian. That was my lifelong dream. But it wasn't because I wanted to be fit. It wasn't because I wanted to be strong. It wasn't because I wanted to be a greater expression of myself. It's because I wanted people to like me. And throughout high school and early in college, before I quit and finally gave up, I wanted people to like me. That was it. That's why I was doing it. I thought if I was an Olympian, if I was a gold medalist, people would like me. And how many of us seek these goals because we want people to like us? Why are we really doing it? Are we really called to it? Or do we just want someone to look at us and say, wow, you're awesome and I like you? And I'm like, it's a gold medal. Because what I have learned is that in discovering your athletic potential, it's not about the goal or the goal, duh. It's about the process. I have 10 gold medals now from US championships. They're in a box. I don't look at them, I don't touch them, I don't show them to anybody, I don't even know where that box is. Doesn't matter. It's about the process. In that process, you will discover everything you need to know. And again, it's about changing tools. It's about changing who you are and what you use. Because when you move to different levels, different things are going to show up in your life. And you either take advantage of them or you don't. You train, 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 and you achieve this particular thing, or you get close to it. Maybe you get the silver medal. Or how, even worse, you get fourth. Who got fourth at the 100 meters in the last Olympics? I don't know who got second, but fourth. Oh, dude, you got fourth. Oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> but guess what? There's stuff all around you. There are so many things that have shown up in your life because of all that training you did, because of that discipline, because of that momentum. So many things have now shown up in your life. And if you're pissed off that you got fourth place, you're not seeing them. You've become an extraordinary human being. You've become one in 1.2 billion. And yet you're pissed off. And you're not looking and seeing the extraordinary changes that have happened in you mentally and physically. You're ignoring them. You're invalidating them. You've become exceptional. And you don't even know it. You think it's the result that matters. It's not. It's who you had to become to get that result. It's not about winning. It's not about proving anything. It's not about impressing anyone. It's about having an extraordinary experience. That's what you want, right? It's all that matters. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. If you're on fire, who cares? 